after or later and find out how it how accurate it was. Yeah, I've had people come to. Well, I, I do a lot of events and a lot of places. Yeah. so I've had people come, come catch up, up and with say, me. Hey, and, you did my one card tarot reading on the radio, and yeah, and a couple of the gals that called in. You were right. I my had a church, flat tire going, so home. I was able to check in with them later. But the cards are dead on every time. Even people that go in with apprehensions or a little bit of healthy skepticism, they're always like, well, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> well, I know you got Andrea bad when you were here before. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. You know, it, 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 she was very moved by the readings she got. Mm-hmm. I had someone write an email to me after the fact that said, man, it just she just picked up on your whole last five years, man. <laughs> you know? That's about the time frame, too. Three to five years, it seemed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about like that. Anyway, seven four three eight two five five. Give us a call, and uh, Amy will read your number. And I was really glad that you were available. Number one, that you were willing to do this, but but number two, that you were available on Halloween because I would think it'd be a busy day. Well, our actual Sabbath. This is Samhain's Eve for us, so this isn't the actual Sabbath. It fluctuates each year a little bit. It's sometime between the first and the second. Of November that Samhain actually falls so I have always kind of embraced the Hallmark holiday traditions because Halloween as we see it was a conversion that happened in the mid 18th century and was kind of claimed more by Christianity so there's you see a little bit of both reflected in our traditions my kids trick-or-treat you know sure um, and they trick or treat on Halloween when everybody else is because it just doesn't work out. If you come knocking <laughs> at people's doors the next day, they're usually out of candy or a little confused. So a little bit, I would right. think. Hey, caller, you're on the air with uh, Amy Guzlin. Hi. Hello. Well, let's try this one. Hi, you're on the air. Hello? Oh, I see. Let's try that. Hello? Hi, I'm here to get a reading. Hey, cool. Hi there. Can you tell me your birthday? Uh, January 24th. January 24th. Fantastic. I'm shuffling the deck here, and we'll draw your tarot card of the day. It'll give you a little bit of direction and where to focus your energy. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. I know you, don't I? Yes, yeah, I you do. do. <laughs> You're my baby. Sweetheart, Mama loves you. Today I have pulled the Fool card for you. And it says that all mistakes made will be joyful. So um, you're young. The Fool card is a card of new beginnings. And it's a card of needing to take that first step. So time to take that first step. Okay? Yeah. Love and light to you, sweetheart. Love and light. I'll love see you, you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thanks for calling, Jessica. Aww. Seven four three eight two five five is the number to call and get your card o the day tarot card o the day just for Halloween just for fun. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, I'm calling for a reading. All right, you're Mary, on with Amy. Mary, me. What's your name? Lori. Hi, Lori. Can you tell me your birthday? July thirtieth. July thirtieth. Fantastic, a Leo. All right, the card that I am drawing for you today is the Emperor card, and that tells me that secret information will be revealed to you. So something that you have not been aware of is going to come to light and reveal itself for you today or tomorrow. Okay. You have a great holiday. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. You have a great day, too. Thanks for calling, Laura. Hey, Tracy, you're on the air with Amy. How you doing? Mary Mead, what's your birthday, Tracy? December 20th. December 20th, fantastic. Let me shuffle this deck for you, dear. All right, and the card that I am drawing for you today, Tracy, is the lover's card. That means some guidance from spirit is here, and a fulfilling romance will be yours. So enjoy that (laughs) and the holiday. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Blessed be. <laughs> Vicki, you're on the air with uh, Amy Guzlin. Mary me. Greetings, Vicki. How are you? Yes, I'm good. Wonderful. Can you tell me your birthday? May 24. 
May 24th. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me shuffle these cards for you. All right. And the card that I am drawing for you today is the Queen of Pentacles, dear. Look to family for creative support. Compassion will become a priority. So at this time of Samhain, when Wiccans like myself are focusing on our family and our friends and our ancestors, that's right where your energy should be too, sister. That will bring you the biggest blessings. So thank you for calling and have a great holiday. You too. Thank you. Thanks, Vicki. Am I blowing up? Is that the phone lines? Yeah, <laughs> you are blowing up the phone lines. Yay! Go hi, hi Ann, you're on the air with Amy Jean Guzlin. Continue on Rush Road for one and a half miles, then turn left onto... Ann, are you with us? Yeah. Okay, we were picking up your GPS there. Marry oh. me, <laughs> Ann. You're on the air, Ann. Hi. Hi, what's your birthday, dear? 11-24-52. 11 24 of 52 and the card that i'm drawing for you today lucky you lucky you you've got the sun card that means you radiate courage over evil and peace and goodness will arrive at your door so thank you so much for calling i'll leave that with you you have a great holiday thank you bye-bye and jane you're on the air with uh, amy jean guzlin hi mary meet how are you I'm good, thanks. How about you? Great. Thank you so much. What's your birthday, Jane? 924. 924. Fantastic. The tarot card that I'm drawing for you today is the King of Cups. That means that there is an admiration from a distance. So there's somebody thinking special thoughts about you, and uh, if you think about it for a little while, I bet you'll be able to figure out who that is. All righty. Thank you. Thank you for calling. You have a joyous Samhain. Happy Halloween. Thank you. You too. Hi, Melissa. You're on the air. Okay. I'm calling for Amy for an air reading. All right. Amy? Mary, meet Melissa. How are you? Good. It's nice to hear from you. Can Can you tell me your birthday? July 28th. July 28th. Fantastic. And, Melissa, wonderful. The tarot card I've drawn for you today is the chariot card, which means that you are taking control of some situation in your life, and therefore there is great success ahead. So there's not a better card you can get. Happy Halloween. Enjoy a sound one to you. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for calling. Yep. Bye-bye. Thanks, Melissa. Yep. Ashley, you're on the air with Amy Jean Guzlin. Ashley. Hello. Mary Meet. How are you, Ashley? Can what? you how are you? Good. Can you tell me your birthday, sweetheart? August seventh. August 7th. Fantastic. The card that I've drawn for you today, Ashley, is the Wheel of Fortune card. Destiny can strike without warning. This card comes to you when the universe opens up. So you have several choices that are options for you, and it's time to make one of those and move forward at this Wiccan New Year. So best of luck to you, sweetheart. What a great card. You enjoy the Sabbath. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. And thank you, Amy. We're going to take a short break, but 743-8255 is the number to call if you want to hear your tarot of the day picked by High Priestess uh, Wiccan Amy Jean Guzlin here on our Halloween edition of the Tom Sumner Program. We'll be back with more right after this. You're listening to the Tom Sumner Program on Flint's News Talk 1470 WFNT. Old-fashioned radio for a new generation. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The talent pool in and from Flint and the surrounding areas is as good as any you're going to find anywhere in the world, as evidenced by that uh, uh, song from uh, Dan Hall, Witches on the Wind. And uh, we've got Witches in the Studio for our Halloween edition of... Uh, and, and not just Andrea. No, <laughs> kidding. High Priestess Wiccan uh, joining us in the studio. Amy Jean Guzlin has been on the show a couple of times before. And today for Halloween, she is giving one-card tarot readings. It's just a, a, a quick little thing if you'd like to get in on it. 743-8255 is the number to call, or you can call us toll-free at 866-533-1530. Uh, once again, uh, 
in the uh, 810 area code 743-TALK, 743-8255, and get your Tarot of the Day, read by Amy Jean Gooslin. Amy, thanks for being here and for doing this. This is a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. It now, is a lot of fun. We were going to try and get, in the last segment, talk about the uh, um, significance of, uh, of Halloween and uh, some of the other days in the calendar year for people uh, that um, consider themselves Wiccan uh, or of the Wiccan faith. Is it is it fair to call it a faith? Yes. Not all witches are Wiccan. Um, a witch is simply defined by somebody that utilizes or practices ritual magic. So there are witches of many faiths, but Wicca itself is a specific theology. It, it's a, a faith or a doctrine, and I am a Wiccan high priestess who obviously is a witch. I practice magic. So... So you can be both. You can be both. You can be one without the other. Not all pagans are Wiccans, but there are many Druidic witches, and you know what I mean, that they're not necessarily of the pagan faith. But yes, it's, it's a theology. It is a, a nature-based, goddess-worshipping religion. And for a lot of people um, that are... that for whom their faith is based in uh, Western religious, uh, religions, um, Hebrews, Christians, um, etc. Pagan has a very negative connotation. It, it kind of does, I would say, in some circles, but I think that awareness is growing and that is dwindling more and more all the time. Good to know. Good to know. Seven four three eight two five five. If you want to uh, be on the air uh, and have your tarot read, and we have, let's see, we have Sherry. You're on the air with Amy Jean Guzlin. Mary, okay. meet Sherry. Thanks for calling. Mm-hmm. How are you? I'm doing good. Can you tell me your birthday? One twelve fifty seven. One twelve of fifty seven. Perfect. Sherry, the card that I'm drawing for you today is the Queen of Cups. Um, that focuses in arts, music, or romance. It's going to have something to do with that area of your life, and it tells me that an intuitive thought will guide you. So today you are the Queen of Cups. You overflow with creativity and with love, and so uh, make a move knowing that. Okay. Thank you for calling. Enjoy the holiday. Thanks, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Seven four three eight two five five. Get your tarot of the day, read by uh, Wiccan High Priestess Amy Jean Guzlin here on the Tom Sumner program for our Halloween edition. Um, and you know, I guess until the phones go crazy, you could join us again if you wanted to, uh, Andrea. Thank goodness Sutton, for a chair with here. wheels. <laughs> <laughs> phone's, phone's got a little crazy. She's uh, putting her sneakers on running around the studio here. That's right. Um, she's uh, always here uh, sort of screening the calls and setting those up. Um, but but back to talking about uh, awareness. Um, and, there goes, and there goes Sherry off to the phone again. Uh, 743-8255 is the number to call. Love to have you join us on this special uh, Get Your tarot red on the radio halloween special here on tom on the tom sumner program but amy jean guzlin uh is here with us to read your tarot um now you haven't we haven't done ours yet no we have not oh no am i gonna try again it's just gonna be one it's just it's just just, you know (laughs) so oh no (laughs) andrea's gonna spill milk (laughs) there you go waterworks time Anyway. All right, Tom. What's your birthday? What's your sign? Uh, Scorpio, 11 7. It's a week from today. Nice. Yeah. All right. And the card that I am getting for you is the Hierophant. And it tells me that a new teacher will reveal himself to you. Oh, cool. Wow. That's good. And just in time for my birthday. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Father time. Yeah. <laughs> That's your teacher. Right. Yeah. Yeah, slow down. <laughs> That's right. What is the day of your solar return, my dear? Uh, March 20th. Pisces. Aries cusp. 
Awesome. And you have gotten the sun card for today as well. You radiate courage over evil, and peace and goodness will arrive to your door. All right. There you go. Always perfect. You can get your uh, one-card tarot reading here as part of our Halloween uh, (coughs) edition of the Tom Sumner Program by calling 743-8255. Or 1-866-533-1530, toll free. Well, yeah, if you're... You know, in Bermuda or something. Hey, you never know. I do have some students near Bermuda. I'm not going to lie. Not in the triangle, I'm hoping. <laughs> I, they, I don't think they'd be able to call <laughs> if they were there. That's, that's <laughs> I hear the reception is horrible. <laughs> the name of their soccer team, the that's Triangles. <laughs> anyway. It's a new um, percussion band. Yeah, seven four three eight two five five. Join us uh Actually, having a little fun with this, but but some of these things um, can be taken. Uh, I mean, we're taking it fairly lightly today by by doing these these smaller readings, but they can become very involved and very sophisticated, can't they? Yes. Yeah, and it's a it's a pretty extensive field to study. I mean, you anybody can go bookstores quite often. It doesn't even have to be a metaphysical shop. You can purchase a tarot deck, and it'll have a small insert that guide you to some simple spreads and gives you some divinatory meaning and a lot of the decks publish a separate book that'll help you study that deck more in depthly and uh but they're they're a large deck you know it just takes some time and some care and i continue to hone my craft i take other people's tarot workshops whenever i'm not tied up in one of my events now this isn't specifically something part of my faith though it's it's just a tool that i'm very adept with out of sheer practice right hey justin you're on the air with amy jean gooslin merry meet how are you justin i'm pretty good can you tell me your birthday March 27th, 1989. March 27th. Fantastic. Let's see what tarot card of the day you get. Okay, I'm going to tell you this card, and I don't want you to freak out on me, okay? You have gotten the death card, and the death card rarely, rarely, rarely signifies anything to do with physical death. What it means is an unexpected new beginning. So at this time, have no fear of the unknown because change is upon you. And if change is what you've been hoping for and wishing for, that's the card you want to see, sir. That's awesome. So thanks for calling today. You have a great Halloween and Samhain, and um, blessings be with you. Thank you. Thanks, Justin. No problem. Christina, you're on the air with uh, Amy Jean Guzlin. Mary me. how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. I know that voice. That's my yes, sister. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. I know your sign. You're an Aries. My fire spirit phoenix over here. She can't fool me. Let's get your tarot card of the day, okay, beautiful? All right. Happy Halloween, by the way. Happy Halloween. And, and happy today, Halloween. the card that I have drawn for you is the chariot card. You are taking control of a certain situation in your life, and therefore now great success is ahead. All right. Blessings be with you. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. right. (laughs) Thanks, Christina. Now, is is Christina a Wiccan as well? Christina is a Wiccan. And actually, tomorrow is a very special day in my life and my spiritual development my coven will officially form tomorrow at my feast for the dead and we are a coven who will maintain a larger circle we believe in building bridges and networking and coming together not exclusivity but christina phoenix will be dedicating to her first year in a day which will make her um have an official seat in that coven coven of the raven moon is what it will be entitled and richard earl tuttle will stand as high priest he will be inducted tomorrow night as well and uh, we start out 17 members strong all thanks to my mentor high priest waylon raven david norris who's all right all, you know he's on the wire listening yeah. to what's going on and um i had something as long as the phone's not reading if we have time a short yeah. thing he wrote to share yeah, absolutely. This is from the book Halloween, written by Silver Ravenwolf. She's a very highly acclaimed Wiccan and pagan author. She is actually the witch that initiated, dedicated, and elevated my high priest. And he wrote this in her book. It is a short poem, and it's just fun. Valinda held the flickering light 
and cast the grim shadows on the wall while whispering stories in my ear on Halloween so long ago. The ghost she conjured howled then to match the winds that moaned outside. Her witches crossed the golden moon on brooms above the clouds they'd ride. That night I'd try my best to sleep with thoughts of graveyards in my mind. I'd pull the covers o'er my head to leave those visions far behind. Now she's living in New Hampshire. Over 40 years have passed us by. Still on Halloween, I hear her whisper, and once again, the witches fly. And that was written by David Norris, my mentor. Nice. I love you, know, Papa. I, you know, I was surprised to find out, and I found out on this show, that he practices the Wiccan faith. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, he also has a great love of um, Marine, boats yeah, and yes. uh, water and, and all of that. And and I guess it surprised me because I, I associate Wiccans with witches, whether I'm doing that correctly or not. And and for some reason, I, I have this impression that witches don't like water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a water witch. I'm a cancer. Sun sign cancer, moon sign and cancer. I'm such a cancer. I love water. Water, water carries out my justice yeah. quite often for me when I see other people's karma unfold. I love it. People do bad things to me and then I like... Oh, their basement flooded? Why am I not shocked to hear that? Not that I did it, but that's how the universe takes care of it for me. <laughs> water, nice. water everywhere. Mm. Seven four three eight two five five. if you'd like to get your one-card tarot reading from uh, Amy Jean Guzlin here uh, on our Halloween edition of the Tom Sumner Program on Flint's News Talk 1470 WFNT, um, where next week, this is going to be great. Well, starting tomorrow, we're giving out cash. Big money, oh, big money. Fort Knox? Yeah. I don't oh. work here. Like a thousand I can win bucks. Cash. Oh, I know. Like I... a thousand bucks. Ooh. I'm all ears, actually, now. It's going to be one. Okay. <laughs> it will be. And and then next week, we're we're giving away uh, those prize packages and entering people in the blow off winter contest. We got all kinds of fun stuff coming For up. For Snow Thrower. But today. We're having fun with Halloween, and Amy Jean Guzlin, who's always a delight to have in the oh, studio yeah. to talk about Wicca and um, stuff, stuff and junk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. I'm waiting for candy. I'm waiting for another caller. I'm excited <laughs> about I think the some candy of these people too. Are having fun. Seven four three eight two five five is the number to call. Um, while we're waiting for uh, another call, and and that was great, and and. Uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, Dave Norris uh, very often co-writes with uh, Dan Hall. Yeah. And writes lyrics and uh, music with uh, Dan Hall. And we heard that song, uh, or a little piece of that song, which is on the wind a little bit ago. Dan Hall we've had into the studio, too. Yeah, He he stood as high priest of Coven of the Raven Mist that met in the Clio area for, for many years. Dave? Yeah. And um, it was on my birthday, July 19th, that my eldering ceremony happened and that he elevated me to a high priestess of that lineage. So now this is the growth that's coming from him. Well, I, I like Dave because he, he's uh, steered a lot of people uh, my way. He, he, uh, he's calls, a web weaver. I, he, I take great after him. He calls me, uh, or he refers to himself as, um, well, I'm not, well, I'll change it a little bit, as a scheduling witch. <laughs> Anyway, hi, Susie. You're on with Amy Jean Guzlin. Mary, hi there. Mary, meet Susie. How are you this fine Halloween? I'm really good. Thank you. Can you I, tell me your birthday? Yep, it's December 11th. Fantastic. Let's pull this card for you and see what the universe has to say for you today. The card that I am pulling for you, dear, is the Knight of Cups, and that tells me that an important message will arrive. And maybe try adding imagination to an existing relationship. The Knight of Cups for you, dear. So I'll leave that with you. Thank you for calling, and you have a great Halloween. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Susie. 743-8255 is the number to call. Uh, We're live on 1470 AM uh, WFNT. You can stream us live at WFNT.com. Andrea and I are here Monday through Friday from 3 to 6, and we get 
great guests like Amy Jean Guzlin to be here with us, and 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 we had we do fun stuff. You never know what we're going to do. Like today's even uh, I don't reading on the radio. <laughs> I love doing the radio. It's fun, and I don't think that I got to mention to you guys. I know that you already know I'm on the board at the First Metaphysical Church in Davison. Yeah. we have different speakers of different faiths featured each oh, week. Cool. And this Sunday, November 3rd, I will actually be giving the sermon there. So at the First Metaphysical Church in Davison, it is 8267 East Atherton Road. That's on Atherton, just east of Irish. Healing starts at 6 and service starts at 630. My sermon will be focusing on releasing and letting go. So if you're interested in hearing that, come share in the fellowship and faith with us at First Metaphysical Church. And we've got uh, Larry on the air. Larry, you're uh, on the air with Amy Jean Guzlin. Excellent. Hello. Mary Mead, welcome. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. What's your birthday, dear? Uh, June 20th. June 20th. June 21st, I'm sorry, June 21st. June 21st. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see. The card that I am drawing for you today is... The High Priestess card. Clever ideas are being created and dreams of places not yet understood are entering your mind. So new possibilities and new beginnings for you, sir. All right. Thank you, you enjoy the Halloween and uh, have a great, great day. Likewise. Thanks, Larry. 743-8255 is the number to call. 743-TALK. And uh, that, that was, was my brother. That was, that your, was brother. your brother. Yeah. I just met him yesterday. Hi, he's Andrew's from, brother. Uh, he's from uh, well, Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, Sherman Oaks. Yeah, works in Hollywood. Lives over by uh, the Cheesecake Factory. I think you're right. <laughs> I'm a big fan of cheesecake. I've been. To the, I've, 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 I've had cheesecake at, in Sherman Oaks at, at the Cheesecake Factory. And what was her name? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> and harm ye none, do what ye will. That's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happens in Sherman Oaks? Stays in Sherman Oaks. Thank Appa the well, goddess. apparently. <laughs> Thank goddess. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 743-8255 is the number to call if you want to have uh, your uh, one-card tarot reading from Wiccan High Priestess Amy Jean Guzlin on our Halloween edition of the Tom Sumner program. Um now, what are some of the other things? You're doing some, some regular uh, appearances as well. Um, yes, I do have a, a pretty regular schedule that I come into each month with. Uh, the first Saturday of every month, you can find me at a New You Wellness Center for their um, Psychic Fair event that happens. That's on Bristol Road near Latinas and Flint. The second Saturday of the month, I'm at my home, my spiritual family, the First Metaphysical Church for their Holistic Psychic Fair. That's on Atherton Road, just east of Irish. The second and fourth Thursdays of every month, I go to my hometown, Papa Joe's Italian Eatery. Fantastic food, awesome ambiance. I'm there from 6 to 8 doing <coughs> readings. I also do tarot parties and private hypnotherapy sessions. Right now I'm booked all the way through November, so I'm going into December scheduling. All right. Well, we've got we've uh, we've got to go to a, we've got to go to a break here shortly. But before we do, let's take uh, one last call. We have uh, <laughs> what the heck is that? It's another Larry. It's another Larry. It's another, it's another Larry. I, it, it, Hi, it, another Larry. Mary Mead. Thanks looks like for calling. The, Andrea's writing looked like Sanskrit. Okay, uh, this, this doesn't bode well already, okay? All right. You know? Larry, uh, did I recognize that voice, Larry Loins, who uh, does the, uh, the football on Friday night. Yep, tomorrow night, Carmen's worth and hold, playoff start. We're ready to go. Fantastic. Right. Well, Mary, meet Larry. What's your birthday? My birthday is February 14th, Valentine's Day. Oh, my. A little Cupid energy there. Well, hey, I mean, you know me. I'm a sweetheart, you know? The tarot card of the day that I'm pulling for you, Larry, is the Emperor card. Today, your card is the Emperor card. And it says that secret information will be revealed to you and that uh, today your power is in your hands. So you enjoy this Halloween. Have a great game tomorrow. And uh, thanks for calling. Okay, was this like good news or what? It is good news. Okay. Don't you want to be the Emperor? I would love to be the Emperor. I'm the Emperor for one day. <laughs> Tomorrow it'll be a different card. <laughs> Outstanding. I'm coming back to the studio. That'll be fun. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Larry Loins, Friday nights here on WFNT. Plus, you can hear him uh, during the uh, NASCAR season on Wednesday nights uh, with uh, Race Talk with Larry Loins here on Flint's News Talk. we got to take a short break. We'll be back with more with Amy Guzlin right after this. You're listening to the Tom Sumner Program on Flint's News Talk 1470 WFNT. Old-fashioned radio for a new generation. Welcome back. This is the Tom Sumner Program on Flint's News Talk 1470 WFNT. My guest this hour, just uh, just a little bit more time left as we celebrate uh, Halloween with... Um, Wiccan High Priestess Amy Jean Gooslin. We've been uh, doing, uh, taking phone calls for tarot readings, 743-8255. She's doing one-card tarot readings, and you can uh, find out what's in store for you from Amy. Amy, thanks for doing this. This has been fun. Thank you for having me. I always have a great time. We've had, like, I don't know. 57 calls or something. <laughs> it seems like it. It's been a bunch. I did. You're more experienced in radio than me. I got to tell you, all those lights on that switchboard hit me a little nervous for a second. That's why I'm like, oh my, are we blowing up the phone lines? What is happening? <laughs> Line three works now. Apparently. <laughs> and we're all you're gone. welcome. <laughs> Well played. That was that clogged line well was taken played. care of. <laughs> we should uh, have you in here on Mondays when we're doing the remotes from Alexander J's, so we don't have any hiccups. Um, again, seven four three eight two five five is the number to call. We're uh, doing uh, for Halloween one card tarot readings, and it just takes a minute. Um, how do you? How much, I guess, how much credibility is there in a one-card reading versus a big spread? Um, you're always going to get a way more thorough picture from a more involved spread. This one, there's still significance to it, but it's mm-hmm. simplified enough to be fun. You know what I right. mean? But that, like we had talked about, the the spread that I gave you guys, mm-hmm. it gives you a nice thorough picture. And yeah, that's how yeah. you really nail it with people. And I think if you're going to divine or look to the future, uh, you need to do it in a proactive way that's going to benefit your life. So the clearer the answer or image mm-hmm. that you can get, the the better off you are. But if you're just trying to have fun, like for example, tonight... Uh, that's all good. <laughs> I will be available for readings at the Men's Club in Flint. That's on Atherton Road, just east of Door, if you wow. don't know. Flint has a club for men? It's a gentleman's I had no idea. It's a gentleman's should... club. And there will be ladies there, yes. And that's from 10 to midnight. 10 to midnight. Mistaken. Yep. Yep. Find me in the corner. I will be the, the belly dancer well, with all the cards. Sometimes. No, that's, I, I, <laughs> how about those tigers? <laughs> 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 Don't make me Already cackle then. on Halloween on the radio. That's my job. <laughs> yeah, the last time you were here, and and I I was really surprised to learn this. We were talking about Friday the thirteenth, mm-hmm. I think. Yes. And um, I learned why they had why witches' hats, the iconic witch hat was shaped like it's shaped and i couldn't help thinking about that today when it was raining i was thinking well that's good all the little girls that go out as witches will have those hats that help the rain it's an umbrella that goes with you everywhere you go <laughs> yeah halloween is great and we go trick-or-treating but for us it's Samhain. i know you would ask me how what is the exact way to pronounce that because right. it is <laughs> spelled sam hain but it's pronounced Samhain, and what it translates to is summer's end it's the final of the three harvest festivals, mm-hmm. and anything not pulled out of a field today in pagan faiths would be left as an offering for the following year. Really? Cattle is slaughtered today, and then that's not addressed again during the bar- dark months. As a priestess, I've done a lot of dedications for people that are coming into the coven, because between Samhain and Imbolc, which is February 2nd, it's the dark months of the year. It's for introspection. You don't want to start any new endeavors, so I, I don't dedicate people in that time period. Hmm. Um, it's a time of the veil between the living and the dead being the thinnest. We honor our ancestors. And the traditions of like trick-or-treating came from put on a costume to scare away the wandering dead and keep yourself safe. Uh, the food left outside the door for the souls that passed by evolved into trick-or-treating. It was claimed by Christianity in the mid-18th century. But hmm. prior to that, it was 
going strong is the end of our year, the death of our year, so the Wiccan New Year. It's the most sacred of our Sabbaths. And uh, I'm a busy witch all October long. It's my favorite time. <laughs> it always seems like Christians are, are co-opting the great holidays. <laughs> well, there, you, you, you talk about so many faiths that are pre-Christian. Um, so Christianity was established afterwards. Well, they, they're not going to completely abolish everything that's gone on up until that point. People live the way they live, so it kind of transitions over. There's Man. more similarities than people would outwardly maybe guess. Right. Didn't right. they appease the pagans by bringing in some of their rituals into the Christian right. well, you Council can't, of Nicaea? You can't you convert people. You can't convert people if you're not offering them a bone of what they're familiar with. Exactly. You know, it can't com- feel completely foreign to them and have them embrace it mm-hmm. wholeheartedly. So there's you see pagan roots in in many other faiths. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, this has been uh, great fun as always, Amy, and thanks for being here. Where can people? Uh, find out more i mean i know we told them about some of the things that are coming up but where can people keep track of things that you're doing and uh, places you're going i'm a big facebook girl i make sure to keep everybody posted with not only the stuff i'm doing but stuff i know that's in the area that you might enjoy i do have a new public figure page up it's just not even a month old amy jean guzlin as a public figure page uh i'm already over 600 likes so that it's really taking off um, I'm like I said, I'm at a new you the first Saturday of every month, the first metaphysical church, the second Saturday, Papa Joe's the um, second and fourth Thursdays of the month. And I'm always available through Facebook to be scheduled for private parties, tarot and hypnotherapy stuff. So I'm all over the place. Um, you can catch me this Sunday giving sermon at the first metaphysical church. Very excited about that. Healing starts at six and service at six thirty. So I hope to see as many of my friendly faces and there as I can. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's always a treat. We'll have you back again soon. I hope. I enjoyed it greatly. Always, always happy to come. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. Blessings to you on the sacred Sabbath, and uh, have a great Halloween. Joy, Salmon. All right. We're going to go to news, and then uh, the third hour of our three-hour tour, we're going to uh, uh, catch the exciting conclusion to Orson Welles' War of the Worlds, and we're going to talk with uh, Congressman Dan Kildee. Stay tuned. You're listening to the Tom Sumner Program on Flint's News Talk 1470 WFNT. Old-fashioned radio for a new generation.